Uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, key features inside uh, router cam. Uh, router cam is quite different than the other cam software on the market today. Uh, it's a totally automated uh, cam system, very easy to use. I'm going to uh, select import. I'm going to bring in a job created inside of auto cabinets. This is just your spacing between the parts and your trim. I'm just going to select OK. It's going to load the job up over here. Some of the unique features of router cam is that we store sheet sizes, so different materials can have different sheet sizes. I'm going to uh, also create all Mac rip lines and use your scrap. So if you have scrap from previous jobs, it will use that first. I'm going to tell it to nest by area. There are several different nesting options. You can actually see it uh, nesting the sheets of material down in the main window here. So what it's done uh, on the uh, the, th the three quarter inch watt melamine, those sheet sizes are 49 by 97. I had a piece of scrap that was 49 by 92. It used that first. I had another piece that was 49 by 49, so it used that second. It found a, a good a good place to use a 49 by 49 piece. Uh, then it switched to using full size 49 by 97 sheets, uh, and it did that. Throughout the rest of the uh, the rest of the nest and stuff like that, you can see even down here it's uh, still a very tight nest. Uh, if we go to the very end. This is going to be your off fall, so it's going to create this uh, rip line, this green rip line, and this piece is automatically going to be stored in the scrap bin for you for future use. Uh, you can see a better usage of this. There's always a lot of waste in back material, so this has saved all the off fall from the back material and use that first. So on this particular job uh, it never even had to use a full piece of, of material. And again you set your preferences up in your uh, scrap as far as what is what's an acceptable size piece of scrap. I'm saying a 12 by 36. So anything smaller than that it won't store in the scrap bin. If anything larger than that it will store in the scrap bin for future use. So that's how it used that. So once it's nested and optimized and made the best use of your material you can select quick code here. Uh, this will bring in the uh, parts. I'm just going to tell it to display the code. You can actually see the G code being created over here on the left hand side of the screen. It's using a five millimeter bore first and then it's going to come in and cut out the parts. So it's doing all your operations. It's switching to the other sheet now. It's just going to march itself through all the sheets, create program numbers for the sheets, uh, and I can tell it uh, as it cuts out the sheets. I'll tell it to pause here after it cuts the sheet. You can actually see it marching across the uh, the table doing all your drill calls. We have the drill calls optimized, the, the routing calls optimized, uh, small parts are identified so it cuts the small parts of stuff first when it starts machining as it cut out the stretcher first and then the small parts uh, and then cut out the bigger parts last. So we have all that optimized for you. Uh, also inside of router cam, uh, if you look at your tool strategies, once you define a layer, 35 millimeter bore in this example, it's going to use the drill and it's going to uh, drill a 35 millimeter hole or it's going to do the dados or the line routes or the female cuts, uh, onion skins, uh, dovetails. You can set router cam up to work the way you want to work one time. It remembers those settings and anytime it encounters those parts and those layers, it automatically machines the parts based on what uh, on what you've set and what's been determined. It comes pre-set up with most of these layers and stuff defined and you can change the layer names, you can uh, modify, you can change the order in which they occur. So router cam just gives you a lot of ability uh, to uh, machine parts uh, and cabinet parts the way you want to machine those parts. Uh, you, you can also install it on a PC based uh, machine controller and uh, if you opt to do that you can come into PanelCAD for example. I can select panels 
we'll take a straight panel. Uh, let's just take a 60 by 21. I'm going to preview that panel. Uh, insert the panel. There, there's your 60 by 21. I'm going to go to my uh, tools here. Bring this up. Let's put a side arc on this panel. Let's come out of each corner uh, six inches in a six inch bow. We'll actually preview that and draw that. Now let's say I want to put a radius corner here. I'll take the fillet tool, select the corner, put a two inch radius on that. Now if this is like a bathroom vanity, let's add a uh, 18 inch hole here for the vanity hole. I'm going to take the drill tool, select that. We'll go to uh, sink holes, 18 inch diameter, it's 60 inch back. I've told it to center it in the back 30 inches and 13 inches out. We'll preview that and we'll insert that. Now, if I'm in the shop, I just want to machine this right on the, on the create the code on the fly. I can go to router cam here, G code, click the OK button. And there's your G code for cutting out this top. Here's where it came in and cut out the inside first. Use a 3 8 inch female. And then it cut out the outside of the parts. So it can be that quick and that easy to get parts to your uh, CNC router. Uh, thank you for your time.